Hello everybody, my name is Pier Giorgio Cipriano from Data Next uh, Italy. Uh, Data Next is an IT system integrator, a large company, Italian based, part of uh, Data Group. And uh, this presentation is about uh, one project called Airbrake. So the focus, the topic is on uh, air quality, but not limited to air quality only because the second, uh, uh, the second uh, issue of the, of the presentation is related to the lack of interoperability when talking about uh, and using uh, data coming from uh, IoT devices and, uh, and, and sensors. That's why I will briefly introduce uh, uh, the OGC Sensor Things API standards. And I will conclude with uh, the last part of the um, activity the, uh, that we are uh, undertaking, that we have, uh, have undertaken uh, in the um, recent months, uh, that is uh, the drafting uh, implementation, the draft development of a um, QGIS plugin for connecting two sensor things, uh, API endpoints. Let's start from here. So we're talking about uh, air quality, and uh, the red area is the so-called Po Valley the Pianura Padana, uh, that is one of the most air polluted uh, areas we have in Europe. Zooming in, I highlighted uh, with this uh, red circle the area of Ferrara. Ferrara is a medium-sized city located in Emilia-Romagna region, but uh, very close to the borders with the Veneto region and uh, also with uh, Lombardia. In Ferrara, uh, 20 months ago, at the beginning of last year, uh, January 21, we started a project funded, co-funded by the European UIA uh, program, aiming at uh, improving the network of uh, sensors for measuring uh, uh, air quality in the city, in the urban area, and co so collecting more data than those that are already available coming from authoritative official uh, stations uh, uh, managed by the uh, regional agency for uh, uh, environmental protection and of course the project itself is not limited to the soft part uh, but uh, is also considering uh, uh, um, uh, specific uh, um, hard uh, um, actions uh, like uh, planting new trees uh, or uh, uh, incentivating uh, sustainable mobilities in order to reduce uh, air pollution in the city. Uh, this question is mainly addressed to Italian people present here, but of course uh, extended also to, uh, to not Italians. Uh, I think that there are some Italians uh, over there. Uh, and my question is, have you ever tried to search for air quality data about Pavale? And we did it. We started from a simple and stupid uh, search in, uh, in, in Google. And we landed, uh, of course, on uh, regional um, portals uh, provided by uh, regional authorities and uh, regional agency for environmental protection. Uh, here we are in Piemonte. We consider also Piemonte, even though Piemonte is quite far away from Ferrara, but uh, it is part of the Pianura Padana, uh, uh, part of the Po Valley. And we discovered these beautiful maps uh, uh, and uh, also capabilities, functionalities for downloading data. Also, Lombardia is offering uh, uh, similar um, features, similar capabilities, so forecasting maps, and also uh, data that can be download, uh, downloaded uh, thanks to the uh, open data portals of the region of Lombardia. Similar situation in Emilia-Romagna too with uh, maps about observations, not forecast, but observations, and uh, daily and hourly data about air quality uh, at station level coming from the open data portal of the uh, regional environmental protection agency. Veneto, last one. In Veneto, we only have this type of maps. We have uh, daily bulletins, daily reports at provincial level and we don't have any data available for download, at least here. Please keep in mind this post-it because uh, we will uh, uh, recall it uh, later on in the, in the presentation. So, summarizing, 
In Piemonte, we have daily maps for both observations and forecast. Data can be downloaded, but only station by station and only pollutant by pollutant. Uh, there aren't any APIs available, or at least they are not uh, searchable, they are not described. And uh, data are provided in uh, CSV files with uh, this structure. While in Lombardia, daily maps are only for forecasts. Download our uh, data can be downloaded for all stations and for all pollutants. Uh, APIs do exist, but the, they are not standard. Uh, they are proprietary uh, APIs uh, since the original Open Data Portal is based on uh, Socorata um, solution, that is proprietary software. And F CSV uh, encoded files uh, have, are having this structure quite different from the previous one. In Emilia Romagna, daily maps and charts as well, only for observations. Data can be downloaded uh, for all stations and for all pollutants, but limited to the last uh, two months. Uh, again, also in Emilia Romagna, there are uh, APIs available, but uh, again, not standards uh, uh, based on SICAN. And the structure of data is similar to Lombardia and different from uh, Piemonte. So, in two words, no interoperability. And we definitely need IoT interoperability. That's why we propose to project partners, in particular to the municipality of Ferrara, that is uh, leading, that is coordinating the ARPRE project, to think of a solution implementing uh, an OGC standard, that is the OGC Sense of Things API. Uh, for those uh, that are not familiar with uh, OGC Sense of Things API was published a few years ago, I think in 2017 or some, something. And it is a, a platform independent, royalty free, uh, and most importantly, at least from my point of view, it is domain agnostic. So it is not related to sensors for a specific domain. It can be applied to all types of temporal data of time, of time series. And uh, the standard is divided in two parts, the tasking profile and the, sorry, the sensing profile and the tasking profiles. This is the quite simple data model with, uh, I, I hope that also uh, from, from the back, uh, this UML diagram is, can be viewed, can be understood. There are, uh, some important concepts, of course, like the thing that can be related to one or more location. The location uh, uh, class is the one having uh, the uh, references to the coordinates. Location can be uh, expressed by um, points or uh, other uh, types of features, like also uh, lines and, and, and polygons. Uh, uh, things can be also related to historical location. This is uh, interesting also for uh, moving objects. And uh, the core, the main uh, concept is uh, represented by data stream. Uh, in, the, in, in the standard, uh, two different uh, types of data streams uh, are, uh, uh, are foreseen. The, let's say the simple data stream and multi -data, data stream, and we will see a practical example later on. So, what we did, uh, since the lack of uh, interoperability existing uh, at regional level, at least uh, in Italy, we uh, starting to well, we decided to implement uh, a set of uh, data ingestions, data, data, data ingestion flows. So, collecting and ingesting uh, hourly and, da and daily data from regional open data portals by connecting through uh, uh, Socrata and SICAN APIs in order to store data into a sensor things uh, API compliant solution. And uh, for doing this, we uh, decided to use Apache NiFi as a, as a, a server side engine to manage and orchestrate uh, flows, uh, flows uh, that are uh, in the case of uh, uh, data 
uh, about air quality coming from uh, um, uh, regional agencies are uh, uh, running every day because data are uh, not uh, um, available at a, uh, at, at a more frequent level. Uh, but uh, with other data, we have uh, more frequent uh, uh, flows, uh, hourly, hourly based or sub hourly based. And for the uh, sensor things uh, compliant uh, solution, we chose uh, Frost, uh, implemented by Fraunhofer Institute, uh, thanks to the brilliant uh, idea of uh, Dr. Uh, Hilke van der Schaff. Uh, uh, it is the first complete and open source implementation of this standard, in particular of uh, part one, but is uh, evolving uh, also for uh, the part two on tasking. At, at the moment, uh, we have uh, uh, data coming from uh, these uh, sources. So we have the data coming about uh, uh, mm, a little bit less than 200 regional uh, and official air quality stations. Uh, plus uh, new municipal air quality stations, uh, plus uh, by counters and so on. So we are applying this standard not only to air quality, but also to other domain. In, uh, in the fall, in, in autumn time, uh, we will also uh, start collecting data uh, from uh, uh, other new 45 low cost air quality stations that will be uh, provided by the municipality, citizens, uh, schools, uh, and uh, local associations. So the, uh, the Frost instance has been deployed on the server farm of the municipality of Ferrara. Here we have the, uh, basic, the base URL. Uh, from a simple browser it can be accessed uh, and uh, we can uh, navigate uh, this, the, the single concepts uh, of, the, of the standard that we saw before. So we can uh, uh, access the list of locations uh, and based on a specific location we may have uh, the things related to that location and then we can go through the data streams so have the, the list of uh, all possible data streams in the case of our quality data streams uh, are corresponding for instance to the variables to the parameters that are measured like ozone pm10 uh, and so on and then, of, cor of course, based on the data stream, we get uh, uh, observations. The first uh, uh, implementation that uh, we, we started uh, and we concluded uh, at the end of last year was on top of the WebGIS portal of the municipality of Ferrara. So we extended uh, their own uh, uh, WebGIS solution by adding functionalities for interacting with the sen sensor things uh, um, API uh, endpoints. Let me, I, I will stop now to call it Sensor Things API because it is too, too long. I will call it uh, just STA, okay? So when clicking uh, on a specific location, you get data as, uh, you can see data as uh, a simple table or as a, as a chart like this. And from here you can uh, uh, download data as local CSV file. Of course, we added also functionalities for the municipality to configure and, uh, other endpoints when available uh, in this uh, data, ca data catalog that is a, a, an admin, a, admin uh, user uh, web application for uh, configuring uh, uh, maps, uh, credentials, uh, profiles, uh, users, uh, and functionalities, and so on. Then we focused on the fact that uh, air quality is not so uh, not so simple domain. Uh, when talking about uh, air quality data, we have to consider that uh, it, uh, we have different uh, unit of measures, we have different meanings, and what we wanted uh, was to somehow humanize thanks, uh, air quality data, and we ran uh, uh, some workshops with student teachers and so on, and this uh, video is showing uh, a, a web page hosted by the project website that will be publicly available in, in, um, in autumn. I jump these slides. One of the way of uh, presenting air quality, for instance, is with uh, this uh, mashup. We use the uh, JavaScript libraries interactive with the GeoServer in order to get uh, hourly updated data. And then we started QGIS. Since I've got uh, five minutes l less, I 
start this video and uh, I can talk uh, on top of them. So we decided to uh, add a, a, a capability that uh, apparently uh, QJS is not, uh, is not aiming at, uh, at the moment, that is the ability to access dynamic data from uh, uh, about sensors. And uh, uh, of course, we focused on uh, endpoints that are compliant to sensor things API, to STA standard. So here we are connecting to the municipality of Ferrara endpoint. Uh, I, here I add a layer showing uh, the location, it will appear in, in some seconds, uh, about uh, the air quality stations, but then I also add uh, the bike counters. So here it should appear the two layers. Okay, and just by clicking on one location using the second functionality of the plugin, we can open a, a, a pop-up window showing the list of properties that are available for that specific location. So in the case of our quality stations, the list of variables that are measured, like NOx or uh, CO or even temperature and so on, then uh, we can uh, select one of them and have data, like in the WebJS uh, client that I showed uh, before. We can uh, change the, the time extent and download uh, uh, locally the data set in CSV, always interacting, uh, so performing some uh, request to the STA uh, endpoints. I jump a little bit. Uh, I skip this part because it is about uh, bikes, bike transit. Okay, I uh, stop it a little bit here. Do you remember before the post-it, I said that in Veneto, Regione, Regione Veneto or uh, ARPA Veneto, that is the regional authority, are not publishing uh, data uh, about air quality. In their, own, uh, uh, in their own portal. But uh, when we started to uh, develop the, 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 uh, the, the plugin two months ago, we discovered uh, an interesting uh, endpoint uh, by the Fraunhofer Institute that is collecting uh, all air quality data for all stations uh, present in, the Euro in, in Europe. So here I can select uh, and, and filter uh, stations based on their own properties. For instance, I can only select uh, uh, stations from a specific country or uh, by type, like rural, rural stations or urban stations. Okay. And here we have stations also about Regione Veneto. And uh, Again, when uh, interacting with, uh, 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 with the second functionality by clicking on the location, we can explore uh, data, we can navigate data, and uh, also for, for multi-data streams. I skip uh, here. We can have uh, this kind of uh, multi-diagrams, uh, of course, if available at server side. Okay, I want to close the presentation. No, the video. How can I? Okay, so the plugin is already available on GitHub. Uh, on GitHub, you, uh, okay, I'm finishing. You have also some instructions and uh, more important, uh, the list of uh, publicly available uh, endpoints uh, providing a SDA uh, interface. And this is the last one. What we are uh, in mind is to, uh, to complete the development that we started two months ago, uh, also exploiting uh, a, a new project called the Usage. So we are asking for call for contributions. We are uh, searching for ex external developers. So who is interested, uh, uh, please contact me. And Geocat already confirmed their interest, uh, also because we are partnering together with uh, in, in Usage Project. And the idea is to have uh, an open collaborative project and possibly 
have an official QGIS plugin uh, next year. I thank you very much, and here are the, you can find my email address if you want to contact me or if you want to scan the QR code. Okay.